Yeah, Mike and Aaron, debate watchers, heard something new during the third presidential face-off Monday night, compliments and credit. I congratulate him on, on taking out Osama bin Laden and going after the leadership in al-Qaeda. The surge has been successful, and uh, the training program is proceeding at pace. You and I agreed, I believe, that there should have been a status of forces agreement. Yeah, a lot of agreement there. But it wasn't all roses. One of President Obama's lines from last night has left a lasting impression on and offline today. It came after Romney said the U.S. naval ship fleet should be larger. We have fewer ships than we did in 1916. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. We have these things called aircraft carriers where planes land on them. We have these ships that go underwater, nuclear submarines. Now that was a trending line. According to the Associated Press, on Twitter, the hashtag horses and bayonets immediately began trending in the United States and became the top trend in the country and third worldwide, even an hour after the debate ended. And on Facebook, users created more than 50 pages named horses and bayonets. Now, according to Matthew Dowd, an ABC political analyst, Mitt Romney didn't hurt himself, but the president may have helped himself during last night's debate. In the Live Center, Larissa Wall, 23 ABC News.